previously on Farmer Unorthodox. People say that there's no moral victories. They're wrong. They're absolutely wrong. Getting this in the field, load off my chest. Yeah, yeah, I kind of knew it was all going too smoothly. Back to the shop. If you've been following the story of spring 2023 uh, along with us so far, you can tell it's been a little rough. That's okay, because we've been there, we've been there before. Just to kind of go back and highlight some things. We bought a planter, turned around, had uh, our local John Deere dealership, who we bought it from, go back through it, make sure it was already go for spring, and then we had some issues, and I had to go back. Um, and you know, it's one of those things in life where there's really no one to blame. It's just kind of the way it is. And then we get it back, we get it, and get everything dialed in, and everything's going good. We get in the field, and then we break a row marker. <laughs> And this date, this time, this I, I was just sitting there like, you got to be kidding me. Like, all right, now I've been through way worse. <laughs> we were trying to get about 60 to 80 acres planted before it rained. And we were fighting rain that night, and we knew the rain was coming. And I thought, okay, if I get in the field and I get this going, I'm going to go all night and get it planted. Well, then we break the roll marker off. I'm surprised I filmed that much of it because my heart just sunk at that point. I mean, it just absolutely sunk and i thought to myself what are we in for this spring all right so then we fold it all back up go to the shop and i'm telling you i had just a rock in the bottom of my stomach just going oh no because i mean i've just had stuff that you just fight all season long and my dad had ankle surgery a year ago I had knee surgery 18 months ago and you can tell when he gets later in the day that he's moving slower and slower and you can tell that day it was a rough one on him, and so I pulled a planter in front of the shop, and I look at my dad, I'm like, if you want to go up, you can, I don't blame you, I'll fix this. And he looks at me and goes, nope, I'll help you. And I'm like, all right, and I got to back up. You know, me and my dad have a weird dynamic. Um, and I think it really like, carries over to a lot of small family-owned businesses, especially like father sons. You know, on one hand, me and my dad are father and son. Uh, on the other hand, we are coworkers, and then we are also uh, business partners. And that date, that night, this was one of those times when he looked at me and he's like, no, I'll help you. We were definitely just business partners. <laughs> Hell or high water, we were in this together. You know, and I felt bad because I knew he was not, I don't want to say in pain, but he wasn't, you know, he's in pain. Let's just put it that way. And it was a long day and we started grabbing the torch, bending stuff back, uh, heating things up, trying to bend it all back and get it straightened out and trying to figure out, okay, how do we build this stronger? And we're in the middle of that. And then Adam comes back up to me and goes, hey, uh, can you help me with the seat tender? And I thought, okay, yeah, no big deal. And we had this little issue where all of a sudden the seat tender plugged three times on me. Yeah, just that night. And I look over, here's my dad, you know, bending and straightening out a row marker. And here I'm playing a seat tender that's all plugged up. And it's just like, oh my God. Like, man, it's just whatever powers of the universe, like, don't want us to plant tonight. That's for sure. <laughs> and this is when you, one of those things in life when you're not real smart. Maybe you're just the right amount of stupid and tied in with a little bit of stubbornness. And you're like, no, no. But it's one of those times in life when you're just like, nope. No, nope, we are, uh, we might not be real smart, but we're tough and we're stubborn and we're going to fight this to the end. And sure enough, eventually me and Adam get the seat tender figured out and we get the uh, bean planter filled with beans. And I look over and here's my dad welding up the, uh, the uh, row marker. And I mean, pretty soon Adam's leaving to go Thank plant you. beans at dang near 9, 10 o'clock at night. And uh, I'm over here helping my dad to wrap up the, uh, uh, wrap up the row marker.
my dad has a good chunk of our stock here and he's got a mark here at seven inches and what we're going to do is cut those and then we're going to weld these as braces right along uh the pieces that we're re-welding on we're going to plate it right alongside the pieces that previous broke we got them straightened out and uh my dad's welding it back together right now so hopefully hopefully it's just better you can see the steel that we're adding to it is as thick it's just a quarter inch shorter but it should be uh which leaves it nice to uh, be able to weld it and, and uh, stay flush with everything. So it should work out well. Uh, my dad brought up a really good point. I kind of noticed in the field, the previous welds were good looking welds. They just didn't have a whole lot of penetration and uh, just all part of it. So I'm gonna get these cut so we can plate them and we should be in good shape. And what really is impressive is I rolled up to the shop about nine o'clock. I rolled out of the shop between like 10 and 10.30, somewhere in there. It wasn't long. All right, well, it's about an hour and a half later and uh, we're back going again. I'm just pulling away from the shop. And so I'm gonna head back to the field and uh, see if we uh, can't keep playing. Gotta love it, right? Something like that. That's what people tell me. <laughs> I think it's gonna go better. I think it's just that kind of first real day, getting things out, testing it, and I think we're through that. So I got a feeling just from here on out, everything's gonna get a little better. So here we go. And we did just that. We got it back in the field, made it go around, and then I just kept planting, kept planting, kept planting. All night I was watching my phone. They kept pushing the rain back, pushing the rain back, pushing the rain back. Uh, we eventually got rain later that day, but I got 80 acres planted that night. And that was really kind of cool. It was just a really, really nice feeling. And I don't know, sometimes when you're self-employed, that's the key, man. Don't be real smart, no. Be stubborn and use that anger. Use that anger and get busy and start fixing. <laughs> I don't know if that carries over to a lot of things in life, but when you're self-employed, that's just sometimes what you got to do. All my friends were at that time at night. Uh, they were sleeping. <laughs> I know because their phones are shut off. Um, and it's just kind of funny. But when you are self-employed, man, you just got to keep hitting like back. And I don't know. It was looking back. It was just so fun because I watched Adam leave with the bean planter. I'm leaving with the corn planter, and that was just kind of our little pop back at life. And just like, yep, take that. If we're not real smart, we're stubborn, and we'll fix this, and we'll work through it, and we'll, we're going to get this done one way or another. So pretty cool.